What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be talking about the best build for Beto. Um, a lot of you guys have requested that I start doing this, and um, I decided that I want to do this over the characters I have, or I've played with, or I've used, and not so much on characters I don't really know what they do. Um, now, there are some characters I don't have that I know exactly what they do, like I don't have D-Luke, but I play D-Luke like a lot in the betas, and... You know, I know what Gene does. I know what a lot of characters do that I don't have. But for characters that I really don't know what they do, I'm not going to try to go around that build or whatever. Anyways, we're going to be talking about Beto. But uh, one more thing before we get into the video. Uh, if you guys want to see me summon today, I will be summoning on stream today. I have like 24,000 Primo Gems. Um, because I have an addiction. I will be summoning on stream today. It will be a video later if you don't catch the stream. But definitely make sure you guys check out the stream. DS Gaming GC. Link is in the description. But anyways. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. So starting out. If you guys don't know. Beto is my favorite character in the game. Uh, I've used her since launch. Right. I got her day one. Been using her since. Uh, needless to say. I love how she works and everything like that. Now. I mean that could very well change. Who knows? I might pull Kaching and it'd be like, oh my goodness, I love Kaching. I don't know. But um, anyways, so Beto. How she works. Number one, her first ability is just five consecutive sword strikes. Nothing crazy. Um, you know, there's nothing crazy about that, right? Obviously, it scales off of attack. You can look at the numbers if you want. Her second ability, um, when you press it, she does like a lightning slash and it does electro damage. If you hold it, she holds up her weapon as a shield, and she can absorb damage. Now, the max damage absorbed scales off of her max HP. Um, attacks using the energy sword within the great sword, blah, 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 blah. Does electricity damage after the you know duration is over. Um, so, yeah, it, it scales off of her max HP. And then her ultimate uh, gives her, well, normal and charged attacks hit. They create a lightning discharge that can jump between enemies doing lightning damage. Increases the character's resistance to interruptions and decreases damage taken. It's really, really nice. Um, so, now that we've talked about what she does, we're going to go over her build and everything like that. So, as far as weapons, I have the Rain Slasher on, which I think is one of the best weapons for her. Simply because you're getting increased damage for having lightning on them. And if you have a water unit, like um, Barbara, who is free... Right? Barbara's free, so everyone should have her. Or um, Mona, who is really, really good. You can get the effect even if you don't have lightning. Because it's hydro or water, so it doesn't stack, right? You can't get 48%. You either get, you just get the 28% if you have either of these on, like any of them. So it's really, really nice. Now, mine's refinement too. I think it's 20% at refinement rank one. But this sword is really, really nice for her. On top of base stat attack, and it gives elemental mastery. So. It's really, really nice for her as far as her electricity and just doing increased damage. Now, uh, since her counter scale, well, the, the amount of damage she can tank scales off of her max HP on top of she gets damage reduction on top of, you know, doing damage. It's clear to see that Beto is a bruiser. So, what you the, the best things for you to build on her are going to be um, attack and HP. Now, um... You can get into the, all the other things as well later on, which I, I'm going to talk about as we do all of this. Um, starting out, I have Martial Artist, which gives me increased normal attack and charged attack damage by 15%. Uh, I also have Berserker, which gives me increased crit rate. So my Beto actually does have crit, and we're going to go over the stats afterwards. So looking at the artifacts, my first artifact I have has HP base stat, which all flowers do, defense percent, elemental mastery, HP percent, and then energy recharge. Energy recharge is really good because you do want to use her ultimate as much as possible. On top of uh, the HP is for her her E ability. Elemental Mastery is just going to be giving her extra damage on electricity, everything like that. Defense is going to make her a lot tankier than most units as well. So that's what I built on her. Um, to be honest with you, you don't have to have defense on Beto. You don't have to have defense. I mean, obviously, this is just how the artifact rolled. So I went with it. It's not that it's not like, you know, I had much of a choice to pick what stats I wanted. But if that was like attack percent, this piece would be amazing. This would probably be like one of the best pieces in the game for Beto. Um, if that was attack percent, but it's not. Uh, moving on to our next one. 
Uh, I have attack main stat, crit rate, defense, HP, and then crit damage percent as well. Uh, now, about this one. Running crit on a damage dealer is fine, but you just want to make sure that you have enough crit rate to crit. Because it's like if you have 50,000 crit damage, but you only have like 3% crit rate, you're never going to crit. But if you have 100% crit rate or high, you know, 50, 60%, and you have, you know, maybe whatever crit damage, you'll crit way more consistently. So that's really, really good for her. Um, I wish these two were percents, but like I said, that's how the artifact rolled. Uh, this piece would be amazing if it was crit rate percent, attack percent, HP percent, crit damage percent. This would be, like, super amazing for her. So... Uh, like, like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to build defense, but I mean, that's what I got. So that's what I use. Uh, moving on to the next one, attack percent base stat. This is super, super good because, um, now this is going to be getting multiplied by all the other stats and everything like that. Uh, HP defense, elemental mastery attack. I'm rocking this simply because number one, I have the berserker two piece, but the attack percent at the top is really nice. None of these are percents, which is like, you can't, you, like I said, you can't do much about artifacts and how you do it, but this is super, super nice, super, super nice. Um, as far as the percent, like if these were percents, this would be godly. And I, I see why they didn't give it to me because this is a four star artifact. And if they put that on a four star artifact, that would be broken. Um, moving on to my, uh, what's it called my cup, I guess. I have defense percent as the base stat. Now, I I'm not using this piece for def, for the for the the base stat, right? The base stat if this was attack or HP, it would be way much it would be way better, but I mean, look, I I can I I'm just going to keep saying it over and over. But anyways, substats, crit rate, which is really nice, attack percent, really nice, energy recharge, really nice for her ultimate, and then HP percent. This is super super good. If this was attack percent, this would be godly. So I see why they didn't do it. And I get the martial artist two piece, increased normal attack, charge attack 15%. And then the last piece, which is the head piece, I have crit rate, which is really nice. It's getting my crits up, defense percent, attack base, attack percent, and then HP base. And then I have the two piece for crit rate. So those are all my artifacts. And if you want to look at my stats, she has 12,000 HP, over 800 attack stat, 600 defense, which is really good. 141 elemental mastery and then the stamina has doesn't have anything to do with the build so then we go into here you'll see her crit rate is 51 percent and her crit damage is 60 percent so everyone has a base of 50 percent crit damage but i have a 10 percent crit damage piece on one of my artifacts so that's why i have 60 and then my crit rate is 51 so 50 percent of the time she is going to crit which is going to be really nice you know uh, every every other attack it, it, well, that's like statistically speaking. But yeah, so there's that. She has 113% energy recharges, which is really nice. This 5% is coming from wind buff, so that's whatever. But yeah, so really, really nice. Um, this is how I built my Beto. As far as like building her, like I said, attack and HP are your primary go-tos. Now, obviously, uh, if you want to build crit, you can. You don't have to. Uh, I built crit just because that's how the artifacts like rolled out to me you know um if you look at my artifacts all the artifacts with like crit rate have really good stuff on them for me right like this crit rate but this has attack percent and defense percent and some hp on it and it's the two piece this one has crit rate on it but it also has attack hp re and recharge i need all three of these stats these are mandatory for me so you know really really good same thing with this one i have attack i have elemental mastery all good Attack, crit rate, defense, HP, crit damage. This one just falls into that uh, martial artist piece. So uh, building her attack HP and then energy recharge is going to be your best bet as far as everything you want to do. Now, keep in mind, Beto is a bruiser. So she's not going to be doing as much damage as, let's say, Razor or D Luke. But you can offset that by using, um, you know, like I, I have Barbara. I use Barbara on my team, right? Now, Barbara obviously gives you water. The water electric um, combination makes your character do a lot more damage, which is really nice. Now you can obviously do the electric, um, you can do the electric ice, you know, combo, which will 
reduce their defense. But like I said, I'm opting for the water one because of Electro. Now, if I pull Mona, I will take Barbara off my team and I'll probably put Chi Chi on my team. But until that happens, you know, there we go. Um, which, I mean, who knows? I might still keep Barbara. I don't know. But yeah, so literally right there, th this is exactly why I um, have Barbara still on my team is because that Hydro, because I can pop Barbara's E and then um, the water will stay on me constantly while I'm doing damage. Because when you electrocute them with your E, it doesn't stay on them for a long time. It's just a couple of seconds. So really, really good. On top of, um, everyone should know about this book by now. Uh, when you switch to the, the next character, they get a 48% attack boost. That's really, really nice because, like I said, Beto doesn't do... She does a lot of damage, make no mistake. But she's not going to be doing as much damage as, say, Razor, D-Luke, etc., because those are pure damage dealers, which she's a bruiser. So um, that's that's my whole thought process around Beto and how I built her and everything like that. Now, obviously, you can take her, you know, you can get her to, you know, level 60, level 70, etc. And she's just going to keep scaling. The good thing about her counter is that her counter scales off of a percent. So her counter is always, her counter will always be useful because whenever she counters, she doesn't take damage and it's a percentage so it's going to scale with how you know the enemies so it's really really nice um you know how she works but anyways that's how to build beto beto's best build whatever you want to call it i don't know what i'm going to call this but um yeah started out with beto uh, i might do whoever tomorrow i don't know we'll see like i said guys definitely uh Come to the stream on Twitch, DS Gaming GC. I will be summoning. Hopefully, I pull Beto dupes. Hopefully, I pull Mona. If I do, you'll see me be building teams and everything like that. So, that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys say in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.